Many different substances are transported around the country. The emergency services need to know how to deal with spilt substances that might be harmful if there is an accident. Any lorries or tankers carrying these substances must have a warning sign. This tells people about the dangers of the substance so they know how to clear it up. A hazardous substance is dangerous if it is not used and stored correctly. It is important that people dealing with hazardous substances know how the substance might be dangerous. There is an international system of hazard symbols used on containers to show the dangers associated with the substances they contain. The labels usually have reference numbers as well, and these can be used to find more details of the hazards. Containers of substances used in laboratories also have hazard symbols. The symbols inform people working with the substances about the kinds of precautions that need to be taken for safe working. If an acid or an alkali is spilled, it can be made safe by diluting it with water or by neutralizing it. A neutral solution is less dangerous than either an acid or an alkali. There are three different types of compounds that can be used to neutralize acids. These are metal oxides, metal hydroxides and metal carbonates. The general equation for these reactions are any acid plus any metal oxide will form salt and water. Any acid plus any metal hydroxide will form salt and water. Any acid plus any metal carbonate will form salt, water and carbon dioxide. The salt that is formed in a neutralization reaction depends on the acid. Sulfuric acid produces sulfate salts. Nitric acid produces nitrate salts. And hydrochloric acid produces chloride salts. For example, sulfuric acid plus copper oxide will make copper sulfate and water. Nitric acid plus sodium hydroxide will make sodium nitrate and water. Hydrochloric acid plus copper carbonate will make copper chloride and salt and carbon dioxide.